Is WWE trying to shut TNA out of all possible arenas? I think so. Alrighty guys, what is going on? My name is Toby Emu. Uh, if you guys have been paying attention, you would know that Impact Wrestling, TNA, is taking the show on the road. Now they are still going to do the tape pay-per-views in Orlando and whatnot, but they're taking the show on the road, Impact. Now, a lot of fans are saying this is the best thing possible for TNA, and I have to agree. Touring does great. I think more people in the UK know about TNA than here in the United States. But the biggest difference is when they go to TNA in Europe, they do very well. Big crowds, you know, comparable to WWE. I mean, pretty much comparable to WWE. It's pretty close. I mean, WWE still has got a little bit bigger reach. But then come to think, okay, we're finally going to tour in the U.S. We're going to do it. It's going to be great, I think, for business as far as TNA goes. However, WWE is looking to enforce its non-compete clauses with the arenas it shows in. Now, what does this mean for TNA? What is it going to... Obviously, I'm a little construed by it. I'm a little, uh, you know, taken back. Because if you guys think about it, WWE usually performs in arenas, raw at least, in big arenas. You know, 10 to 15, 20,000 people. Smackdowns usually are in the smaller venues, anywhere from uh, four to 10,000. And usually the Smackdown live events, or even the touring live events, don't usually put up huge numbers. They usually put about, you know, TNA numbers up at the tapings or at, you know, the live events. What is this going to mean for, you know, arenas that lock TNA? Where is TNA going to be performing on the road? Where are they going to, you know, go as far as tapings? And I think this is very interesting. I think there's three arenas right now that WWE is going to put its, you know, non-compete clauses in effect. One's in Colorado, the one's in Cleveland, the Worcester Arena or whatever it is. And I think this could be a problem for TNA. If WWE really tries to strong arm TNA here, and well, not even strong arm TNA, if they strong arm the arenas and like, hey, you know what? We're going to non compete clause. You're not allowed to have TNA in the building. WWE goes to a lot of places during the year. And I'm sure there's still tons of places, you know, TNA could go. But I think this could be a problem for uh, TNA with WWE locking down these non-compete clauses. It'll be interesting to see where TNA goes, how they're going to fare on the road, because, you know, I, I do like TNA. I haven't really been watching in the last couple of months. You know, I think it was October, November, around Bound for Glory, that I actually started to watch, and I was watching it week in and week out, and then I just kind of, you know, turned away when Rob Van Dam and Jeff Hardy became champions. I, you know, lost interest. When Austin Aries lost the title, I was just like, eh, it's okay now. Um... I think the biggest question here, though, is will TNA be able to be successful on the road? And I honestly, I think they will. The question is, where are they going to perform? If WWE keeps doing this and says to all these arenas, hey, you're not going to be able to let TNA in there, I wonder if TNA is going to end up in auditoriums and gyms and it'll be interesting to see. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you think about TNA taking a show on the road? What do you think about uh, WWE locking down the arenas and saying, no, if you want us... Non-compete, you're not allowed to have TNA, TNA in there. I think it'll be pretty interesting to see what happens and where TNA goes. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. I really do appreciate you guys watching. If you guys give me a huge favor, hit that like button. Until next time, we will see you all later.